2006. The year that the seventh generation of game consoles released. Some may think that 2006 was the best year of gaming, but to me, it only exists as a painful memory, one that will just not go away. I got a Nintendo Wii for my seventh birthday on November 28, 2006, about nine days after the Wii launched. I still remember the moment when my dad gave me the present, and then I quickly ripped it open. Wow! A Wii! Thanks, Dad! I said in happiness. After that, my dad had a bit of work to do, and I begged him to help me set it up. And when he was finally done, he helped me set up the Wii in the living room. What surprised me about the Wii is the controller, as it reminded me more of a TV remote. After my dad set it up, he left me to play, and I was going to play Wii Sports, which was the Wii's pack and game, but something else caught my eye. The Me Channel. So I decided to open that up instead. But when I got to the Me Channel, there was a single Me there. I clicked on him and found out that the Me's name was... Edeled. The name Edeled didn't make any sense to me until I looked closely into the letters and found that it was backwards for delete. I took a good look at Edeled. He was bald, with a big smiling mouth, giant eyes, and a small nose. He started to creep me out a bit, so I decided to delete him. I then decided to make a me version out of me. So I clicked the button to make a new me, and I named my new me Kyle, because that was my name, Kyle. But then when I got back to the plaza area, Edelard was back, with the same creepy look. So I deleted him the first chance I got. I was still kind of creeped out, but I just decided to forget about it and just play some Wii Sports. I liked Wii Sports. It was a compilation of five sports, and these five sports were tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, and boxing. I decided to play bowling since it was my favorite sport. My me was in a bowling alley with many other me's, and occasionally I'd see the me in the lane next to mine do their throw. But about halfway through the game, I saw a me, a, a bald me to be more specific, walk up to the lane next to mine. He threw the ball and got a strike. The me then turned around to celebrate. But then I saw the me's face. It looked exactly like Edelard's face. I thought I deleted him. I uh, guess I'll just have to delete him again. So I quit Wii Sports and went back to the me channel. But before I could delete Edelard, Something weird happened. Edeled actually started speaking. His voice was incredibly low pitched and distorted. Why are you trying to delete me? After Edeled said this, I spoke out. What? Well, what do you mean? I asked in fright. What was I thinking when I said that? Of course, Edeled wouldn't hear me, but to my surprise, he did. Are you kidding me? You know what I mean. Edelette said with annoyance. I I just don't want you in my me channel. You're 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 creepy and and you're and you're just creeping me out. I'm sorry. Oh really? Me's have feelings too, you know. How'd you feel if I deleted you? Edelette yelled. The screen then cut to static for about 5 seconds until it cut back to the me channel with a close up of Edelette's face. Edelette's pupils were huge and he had a very angry expression. And as every second passed, Edelette's expression became angrier and angrier. I pressed the home button and ran to my dad. He was on the phone so I waited for him to finish. 
D dad th there's something wrong with my Wii, I said in a scared voice. I led my dad to the living room and turned off the home menu, and surprisingly, it looked normal. What? He was right there, Dad! He, he was right there! I yelled with confidence. Kyle, maybe you're just playing a bit too much. I think you should go take a break. My dad recommended. So I did. I opened up the home menu again and took a 15 minute break. But as I left the living room, I could have sworn that I heard my dad say to himself, Oh god. But, after 15 minutes, I came back to the Wii and turned off the home menu. And an animation played of my me being deleted. And then a dialogue box appeared saying, Goodbye, Kyle. And then the me channel automatically turned off and went back to the Wii menu. I tried to get back into the me channel, but every time I did, a dialogue box would appear saying, We deleted you and it would take me back to the Wii menu. I soon realized that Edelette had somehow deleted me in a way so that I couldn't make any more Miis. So that meant no matter what game I played, I always had to play as Edelette.